Hey guys, so for today's video, I have a first impressions on the Hourglass Seamless Finish Vanish foundation stick super long name but i'm really excited to be testing this out once i hauled this in my sephora haul that i uploaded last week so many of you guys wanted me to do a first impressions on this so i decided to go ahead and do it i'm typically not a huge fan of stick foundations but ever since the anastasia one i've been kind of more intrigued by them so i figured i will go ahead and pick this one up so if you are interested in checking out my thoughts on this do i love it do i hate it then continue watching to check out my first impressions so let's get started with testing out the foundation because I am so excited. So this is the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation Stick and I have mine in the shade Golden Tan which seems like it's going to be a really good shade. I'm hoping that it matches me though because you never know with foundations. I have Sephora up here and I pulled up the foundation so that I could um, kind of read it and tell you guys what the claims are, what it's all about, and then I'm going to go ahead, test it out, and see if it actually lives up to the claims. So it says that it's a long-wearing foundation stick. It has the coverage of a concealer. It has that liquidy texture, but the weightlessness of a powder for full coverage. It says that it's infused with double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations. So I'm both at life, because you guys know I love full coverage. It's long-wearing waterproof. I had no idea. That's why I like reading these little things, because you get to know things about it that I would have never known. So waterproof formula, 12 hour coverage, adjust to your body temperature. I heard this too, it has like technology in it that is going to adjust to you so that it can become your perfect match. Basically this is supposed to be super full coverage, waterproof, long wearing, but like invisible to the skin and seamless to blend and really lightweight. So we're gonna see if it lives up to that claim. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. I know they said, whoo, I'm really hoping the shade's not too dark for me. By the way, my face isn't as tan as my body. I match my foundation to my neck. So that's why it's like super dark compared to my face. Anyways, I don't know how much to, super smooth, like really smooth to apply. I don't know how much to put on because it said it's full coverage. So I kind of like, I'm a scared, you know? I don't want to like put too much on because that can be bad too. Let's just go ahead and use the Beauty Blender. This is a new Beauty Blender, so it's like a little denser and more tough than like it normally is. Okay, with the amount that I applied, I get like a medium coverage. So maybe I should have just applied more. And you know what's funny? It actually didn't say anything about the finish. Like when I was reading on Sephora, it never mentioned the finish of this foundation and what that's supposed to be. So that's kind of like weird. But I can tell you guys the finish is like a matte like a natural matte finish, which is nice, but it does have a little bit of that powder kind of look to it. I think I'm gonna try a brush on this side. Yeah, there's something that I, about using a brush with like stick foundations and these like thicker creamy foundations that I really like. But it does feel super lightweight, like it feels like I have nothing on the skin, which is really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply more, and this is actually good because I get to see how it layers. So it does layer pretty nicely, but I notice when I layer it, it just looks a little, like a little layered. You know, you can tell you layered it a tiny bit. So I think what I would do is as I'm like originally putting it on, I only put two stripes on the cheeks. I would probably put three or four already initially so that I didn't have to like build it. You know what I mean? In terms of how, just like my initial thoughts right now, definitely feels weightless. Like it doesn't, oh, it's not sticky either, which is nice. Like it sets down to a nice powdered finish. So I feel like if you have dry skin, you won't have to worry about having to like powder it down much. Um, I do like it with the brush better. I don't know about the waterproof and the lasting yet. I'll kind of have to update you guys in a blurb down below that I usually leave. In terms of it being super full coverage, I would say it's more like medium to full. Um, I feel like you definitely get full if you put a lot on initially. But for me, like when I was thinking, oh, like they were making it super full coverage. So I was like, oh, okay, like it's super full coverage. Let me just put two strokes on each cheek, two on the chin, uh, two on the forehead, one on the chin, you know? But I, I, I found that that wasn't enough. So to me, if this was like really full coverage, then that would have been enough. So this to me is more medium to full. But I'm definitely not complaining because I like the coverage, you know? I'm just saying they make it seem like it's like extremely, extremely full when it's not. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the rest of my makeup and the rest of the video that I'm about to film and then I will come back and kinda conclude my thoughts for you guys. 
So I just finished my makeup and honestly, I really love this stick foundation. I do have to see how it lasts and I would have to test out the waterproof claim and everything like that for you guys. I am gonna write a little blurb down below on my thoughts on this and how it lasted throughout the day if you guys are interested. But my makeup applied really smooth on top, like really easy to blend. It looks super airbrushed on the skin. After all of the makeup is applied, the highlight and everything, the shade Golden Tan actually matches me really nicely. So all in all, I'm really happy with this foundation. I feel like it lives up to most of its claims, except for the one that it just really screams that it's like totally full coverage. I would say it's more medium to full. I also do appreciate how it's not dewy. It's like a nice natural matte finish. So I feel like if you have oily skin, this isn't gonna be too greasy looking on you. I'm curious to see how it lasts on my oily skin so I will definitely update you as you guys know with all my favorites and regrets videos I always keep you guys updated on new products and how I feel about them So keep up with my favorites and regrets videos to kind of see my final thoughts on this product And that is pretty much it for this video if you guys want me to keep doing these kind of reviews and first impressions and These types of videos then I will definitely keep doing them like thumbs up so that I can Thank you guys so much for watching and I will of course see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.